Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to visit three different Asian enclaves here in Melbourne. I'm approaching Little Saigon now. That's why you see there is an arch. So I just walked past the arch and now I'm here in Little Saigon. I'm again very early. Because there are so many graffitis around this area. I haven't found any restaurant that opens yet. I saw one bakery. I'm going to check it out later. I will just walk down to this end of the street and I'll walk back. So I finally found something looks like the Benta Market in Saigon. So this building is quite similar to the Benta Market in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. finished walking down the street and now I'm walking back to check out some of the bakery that is open now for breakfast. It opens at 5.30 in the morning so it's good place for breakfast. The other one is the Lily Hop Bread. So the bami is around 7.50 So this is my morning breakfast Bami So that's all for my visit to the Vietnamese enclave here in Richmond, Melbourne. I'm going to the next Asian enclave, the Chinatown. I'm now at Little Book Street and this is where Chinatown is. A statue of Dr. Sun Yat Sen, the founder of modern China. This Chinatown mostly sells health products and restaurants. This chicken rice, see how much it costs here? 15.90. But it's quite okay. It's quite a huge portion. How much is laksa? Also 15.90. I'm just in front of Shanghai Street Shalom Pao. They have not opened yet, but they were showing us how to make the Shanghai Pao Zi or the Shanghai dumplings. Fourteen eighty for eight pieces. The Chinatown is not just one street. It's yes, going go down to the next street. A 
and basically it's quite a long street of Chinatown. I thought it was just one street. Polo Pao. Quite a lot of churches along this street. These are Chinese churches. The classic Asian grocery shops. Basically, it's like looking at the different kinds of Chinese restaurants. The gelato. This small cafe, Tohoku cafe, I think it's quite cool. The famous one I think is the Shanghai Dumpling Shop, which is not on the main street but it's on the side street. See how narrow this street is, just look at how the car is parked here. I'm in Chinatown, of course I need to come and have some Chinese food. Order from the pond. I just ordered a Sichuan dumpling. Okay, I just finished my meal. I've just arrived in Springvale and I'm off to the next Asian enclave. So this is like a Vietnamese Cambodian area and there is the, some of the Asian shops over there. This uh, seafood area. Okay, so this is the market. I try to find my way out. So this is the Springvale Center, and now I'm head down to the Arch. Yeah, at least it's more happening here compared to Richmond. They got food. Okay, I will just walk around here. Then they got food court. Wow, it's very lively here. to go out from here Onions Ginger Wow, it's very colourful Let's follow the cow Bam Bam Bakery I think I know my direction now There is the arch Quite a famous one Oh, oh. So this is the Springvale Arch. Mm. 
So they're going to actually got the English, the Chinese, um, the Vietnamese as well as the Khmer language. I've already tried the Vietnamese food, so maybe today I'll try the Khmer food. Oh, they even have papa rich. No, this is papa roti. <laughs> Wow, it's a clean pit. A combination with rice, 20. BQ pork or rice, 11.30. So many food choices. My Cambodia. Oh, this is the Cambodia food. Okay, so there are more restaurants here. Thai food, Vietnamese food, Coolidge. So this part is like the Cambodian <laughs> restaurants area. This one is vegan. Cambodian. I'll just pick one and think I'm gonna try the Cambodian Khmer food then. I just came into a Cambodian restaurant, it's called My Cambodia. I just ordered a dry noodles, called Nom Pen noodles. And it looks delicious. The meat. So that's all for this video of me visiting the different Asian enclaves here in Melbourne. See you again. Bye bye.